सो हाय फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल किरण माय क्रिएशंस एंड दिस इज डॉक्टर किरण माई सो टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज अबाउट बॉडी मॉस इंडेक्स सो बॉडी मॉस इंडेक्स इज एक्चुअली ए टूल दैट हेल्प्स अस टू आइडेंटिफाई आवर न्यूट्रिशनल स्टेटस सो न्यूट्रिशनल स्टेटस इन द सेंस लाइक इट हेल्प्स अस टू आइडेंटिफाई वेदर वी आर अंडर वेट ओवर वेट और वी आर सफरिंग विथ ओबिसिटी so nowadays obesity and overweight has become a major public health problem for all men and women because obesity can cause glucose intolerance um, uh, insulin sensitivity sensitivity insulin resistance high blood pressure and also it increases the inflammatory cytokines like tumor necrosis factor so all these factors actually contribute to chronic diseases like diabetes hypertension cardiovascular disease and several other types of cancers so hence it is very important to identify whether we are uh, overweight or obese individuals so for this purpose today i am going to teach you the body mass index and how to calculate it okay and uh, so after seeing this video you know you will be able to learn how to calculate the bmi and you do the bmi by yourself and see which category you will fall into okay now, now let's get into the topic so so bmi is actually body mass index and this is uh, calculated by using our weight and height okay so we have to take weight in kilograms and height in meters so the actual calculation is we have to divide weight in kilograms by height in meter square okay suppose if you are 90 kg and if your height is 175 cm we need to convert this 175 cm into meters so in meters it is 1.75 meters okay now we now we have to calculate the bmi so bmi 90 kg by height in meter square right here our height is 1.75 meters whole square that means 90 by 1.75 into 1.75 let's see how how much is 1.75 into 1.75 1.75 into 1.75 is 3.062 is 3.062 okay So, so one point seven five into one point seven five is three point zero six two. Now you have to divide the weight ninety kgs by three point zero six two. How much it is? Let's see. So it is ninety divided by three point zero six two gives you twenty nine point three nine. Okay, this is your BMI. Now we have to see whether this person is obese or overweight. or normal based on this calculation so according to uh, who world health organization cut off values if your bmi is 18.5 
less than 18.5 then you are underweight okay low your bmi is low but if your bmi is 18.5 to 20 like 18.5 in between 18.5 and 20 you are low normal that means you are actually up to the normal okay but if your bmi is between 20 and 25 you are normal that means your weight is appropriate to your height so normally in general our bmi should be in between 20 to 25 but if your bmi is greater than 25 and less than 30 greater than 25 and less than 30 then you consider as overweight but if your bmi is greater than 30 you are obese and greater than 35 you are suffering with grade 2 obesity and greater than 40 you are suffering with grade 3 obesity so here the bmi of this person is 29.39 okay see where it falls into so it falls in between 25 and 30 so this person is considered as overweight okay so that's how you have to calculate your bmi so if you are considered as overweight or obese or suffering with grade 2 or grade 3 obesity we have to make some lifestyle changes and also dietary changes so lifestyle changes in the sense uh, you have to do some physical activity like uh, 35 to 40 minutes every day and uh, uh, coming to the dietary uh, changes you have to cut off uh, all white foods white foods in the sense like you know refined rice salt sugar pasta maida noodles etc all these foodstuffs should be you know cut off from your diet include uh, you know whole grains most importantly like you know millets uh, like ragi jawar bajra or brown rice or quinoa rice okay and then include more amount of uh, vegetables and also leafy vegetables and include fruits in your daily diet and see and follow this diet and also exercise for at least you know 45 days you will see a tremendous change in your uh, body weight but make sure that you have to reduce the intake of calories in your daily diet like you know you have to reduce the intake of uh, um, cereals like most importantly uh, the rice products and um, wheat products you know uh, you have to reduce the portion size and see what happens and I am sure you know you will become uh, you will come to the normal weight and you will feel uh, very hale and healthy okay. thanks for watching this video and if you like this video please share it with your family and friends and kindly subscribe to my channel Thank you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.